I wanted to show an easy way to check uh, freon level on a heat pump and in general you want to check below 50 degrees if it's 60 70 degrees and you're running heat mode just check it on AC mode like you would normal AC you know check your sub cooling check your suction pressure but on heating mode when it's cold outside your AC pressures are going to be way off so you want to check it on heating mode and the thermal camera gives you a nice you see how the evaporator is pretty much only half full of liquid refrigerant and we got these two big bands you know right there the two white bands have no liquid refrigerant so just a quick scan with the thermal camera you know showing that this unit's low on freon and so you can also do your sub cooling which here you got a nice little sight glass and so you can see from the sight glass we have low sub cooling but if you didn't have a sight glass you know you'd throw a gauge on there make sure your head pressure is not going crazy but with the image here we're about one pound low so add a pound and I'll show you what it looks like after I add the refrigerant. Now in this unit here, we have our normal culprits for losing refrigerant. No caps. Also this cap being loose. Notice how it turned black. So it got full of water. be dry now because it's winter time but if this were summertime I'd, I'd definitely want to heat that with a torch to boil out the water and then nylog it liquid cap is loose also just typical bad refrigeration practices notice there's no corrosion so the liquid didn't get didn't get water in it suction got a lot of water in it and we've got a liquid line oh that's good it actually has the rubber a lot of times they don't even have the rubber on there so on this one I'm not even gonna leak check it because I'm just doing a maintenance I'm gonna add the gas. If I have to add again next year, then I'll leak check. And see where the gas is going. But it's definitely leaking on those caps. And then this is the stuff you want to use to seal those caps. Anytime you got a brass to brass. Anytime you got any sort of mechanical fittings definitely use this stuff works great never had a leak with nylog now we got our pound of freon in so we got our, our sub cooling is about 15 now. Sight glass cleared up. Probably put a little too much freon. And then you look here on your thermal. And this is more of a normal coil. See, it's three quarter full. Just got a little band right in the middle there where there's no liquid refrigerant. So we're using a lot more surface area on that evaporator. And this only has, it looks like there's just two circuits on this unit. Sometimes there might be four circuits. So you can see a bunch of bands. 
sometimes the circuits are interleaved but I like the IR it gives you a real quick real quick check on that so units running much better now sealed those leaks on those caps and it's a quick and easy way to check your freon level on your heat pump and then if you have any question you know always you check your head pressure make sure you're not crazy high it's normal to be crazy high if you're 60 degrees outside so you want to run ac if you're warm weather cold weather you got to run heat pump hope you liked the video thanks for watching